Hello and welcome back again to the humble little workshop in Shropshire. Today's video we are going to be looking at a mini cleaver kit which is this one here. That's it there and every time I touch it I get fingerprints all over it. Never mind it is mirror polished stainless steel and they are extremely sharp. Um, it comes with a ferrule like so and also a little stainless steel end cap which means we can turn between centers to keep it nice and simple. Yeah. Now this kit is quite similar to quite a few other kits that we've got um, and I'm going to try and do something just really slightly different this time. Um, a few weeks ago I saw, I think it was on Instagram, one of our customers and it, it'll have to forgive me because I can't remember who it was but he'd made one of the kits and the handle end was turned to exactly the same diameter as the ferrule and it made the ferrule look like it's a big lump of steel which it isn't but it certainly looked like that I don't know why that's the case but I'm going to have a little bash it doing that today see how we get on um, I've got a piece of elm um, in here um, which I'm going to drill the ends of and then turn between centers um, as I always stress, measure the kits um, first when you get them. Specifications change, so uh, I, I'm loath to, you know, quote the measurements on here. Um, but at the point of doing the the video, the tang on this is 9.05 millimeters. You quite often find tangs on these things are actually slightly over. Um, oversized rather than undersized if i wanted to insert something into a nine millimeter hole normally i'd have to make it 8.8 .8 millimeters to fit it in but what you actually want to do with these is to get the little bits of metal to actually stick into the wood not the same for acrylic but for wood um, it needs to be slightly over the millimeter hopefully that makes sense i am therefore equipped with a center finder a five millimeter drill bit that's for the stainless steel end cap and a nine millimeter drill that's for the 9.05 millimeter tang so let's do the drilling and then we'll mount between centers and again i've covered it before but i'll show you a little trick with mounting between centers if you don't have a dead center Okay, so I now have my piece of wood with my 9mm hole this end and a 5mm hole this end and I now need to mount it between centres. Normally what I would use is a dead centre, like so. We do sell them, they're not particularly expensive, but if you don't have one and you're about to make this, don't panic. Um, because you can make your own. I have a chuck, I have a scrap of wood insert a scrap of wood into chuck and basically I shall turn it to a point this is an old bit of beach I've no idea what it's from um, and I'll then have a dead centre if you don't have a chuck you're stuffed basically I think unless someone else has got an even better idea but basically I'm now just going to quickly turn a point on that to make my own dead centre Really the only thing to remember when you turn your own dead centre like this is that each time you do it because you'll get a slight movement um, from the chuck and the piece of wood is you need to do a new point each time but it's not a problem I'm going to insert that in there now and bring up the other end and in some ways you actually get a slightly better grip from a piece of wood than you do from a metal um, dead centre but now we're ready to turn this um, into a handle. Next I'm going to take my ferrule and I'm going to mark on the blank where I need to cut the ferrule to and that's that line there. Let's just mark that on there. And now I need to measure the internal um, diameter of the ferrule to get the diameter right at this point. And for that I need calipers. If you haven't got a pair, go and get some. 13.2 mil, right, if I stretch them out as far as I can, 13.2, well I'm actually gonna lock the calipers off 
and I'm going to use that as I turn that down to get the right diameter. So you probably can't see that, but I've got the, the tenant right of the ferrule there. Now what I'm going to do, because I'm going to try and get them evenly, um, the put my teeth back in, right, the outside measurement of the ferrule needs to be this next piece here. So I'm going to use my calipers again and measure the outside. of the ferrule which is let's just lock those off that's 14.13 I think something like that let's just lock those off and I'm going to taper it down a little bit to the end to there let's see how we get on with that Because we're doing turn between centres, I can take my handle off and I can just double check the fit there and that's not looking too bad um, on there. Right, um, we'll pop it back on and we're then just really going to look at uh, finishing. There's all kinds of things you could do up this end as well if you wanted to. If you wanted to measure the outside of the little end cap and um, counter sink it you could do that whatever you like really and once you've got your finish um, as you like it you can then remove the handle and we're looking ready to fit the kit together and that's the that's how the ferrule fits on the on the handle um, flush like so um, and all we need to do now is push in the blade uh, in a vise and stick in um, the little end cap in there. After my little tidy up there is the finished kit the end is just glued in there um, I'd really recommend gluing both ends to be honest for a permanent fix but that's quite a nice little thing it's quite a fun project it's not very difficult and if it was i wouldn't be able to do it um and i think that's quite nice we'll as usual go and take a still of that and pop it up at the end of the video uh, and pop it on the website so you get an idea of what you can do what i meant to do was actually do two black lines on it uh, and i forgot never mind that's another tip for you maybe worth trying that um some stripes around the handle because it makes it know slightly more oriental feel perhaps um i hope it's been helpful thanks very much for watching until next time safety in the workshop is paramount having fun too though until next time bye bye for now